In this short video, we're going to go over SKU Grid notification settings. So when you're logged into your SKU, SKU Grid account, you'll click on settings. Then you'll click on notifications. Okay. You'll have a few options here. The first is for you to put your email address. This is where you want your notifications to be sent. If you have more than one email address that you would like for your notifications to be sent to, you can separate them with a semicolon. The next option is to send notifications if any are available. You can choose almost real time, every hour, every three hours, six hours, 12 hours, every day, which is once per day, or never. So you choose a time frame that you would like to receive email notifications and you make that selection here. SkewGrid is actually doing a lot of checking behind the scenes approximately every 30 minutes and during that time, it's looking for changes in your supplier, be it price or stock. And it's recording that information in a database and sending you an email notification. At that time, repricing is not being done. You're just going to receive an email notification that there is a change in the supplier. SkewGrid is going to wait until the setting that you had on the general settings tab. You have a um, run checker every you know, such and such hours, three hours, for example. SkewGrid is not going to be making the changes until it's been three hours from the last time that item was repriced. But it's doing some checking behind the scenes that does not cost you any credits. So it's up to you whether or not um, you want to receive these notifications, you know, every hour or real time or whatever time frame you want. And if you receive a notification and you want that change to happen faster, then you can go in and do a force reprice on that particular item. So with, you also have the ability to group emails by type, stock, price increases, or price decreases. If you have this set to no, then what will happen is on your notifications, instead of getting one notification for every single change, SkewGrid is going to group them and send you sort of a digest uh, with multiple changes on one page. So um, I prefer it to look that way. <laughs> um, it just really depends on what you want to do. This option here, notifications on stock change, you'll get an email notification if your supplier goes in or out of stock. Totally up to you if you want to receive that notification. Next, these are the two thresholds for notifications. So uh, by how much should the price decrease before the notification is set? Uh, you can choose anything that you want here. Uh, I just have a dollar for notification decreases and a dollar for increases, but you can make these whatever numbers you feel comfortable at and then click Save Settings. What I want to show you as well is an example of what these email notifications look like. So on this one, you'll see um, it will give me whatever is in my reference uh, ID field in, in SkewGrid. It's going to give me that information. Now, since they're imported from Hydra, it will say remote import Hydra, and then it will give me my eBay item ID. It will also provide a link to the supplier site that you can click on, and it will take you directly to the supplier site so you can confirm any changes that have happened. It will show the old supplier price, the new supplier price, I'm sorry, the old shipping and handling, and whether or not the supplier was out of, in stock or out of stock, the new supplier price, and whether or not the supplier is now in stock or out of stock. It will also display any error, errors that have uh, SkewGrid has encountered. And if your item had a variation and you had that specified in SkewGrid, it will let you know which variation it's referring to. So as you can see on this first, um, first item here, you can see that the old price was $125.90. And now the price has increased to $128.49. Likewise, the next item was $284.99. The item is now $296.61. Okay, so you can see that all of these are price increases, except for this one. This one went down a little bit. $174.99. The item is now $173.49. So if there was an item that I you know, got a notification on and I wanted to go ahead and make a change, I can copy this eBay item ID instead of waiting for SKU Grid to reprice my item at the next specified repricing time. I can come in, I can copy the eBay item ID, 
I can go back over to SKU Grid, go to My Items. You can paste in the item ID. It pulls that item up. You can go over to the right and click Force Reprice. That will force the item to be queued to be repriced next instead of waiting until your next scheduled repricing time. So I hope that helped you understand SKU Grid notifications.